My guest today is Dolly Desir. Dolly, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm up here in Chicago where the sky is pretty much on fire. It's filled with smoke from Canada wildfires, but I'm inside safe and sound. (laughs) Nice. What do you do, Dolly, for a living? um, Yeah, I am a solutions engineer at Datadog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been there for almost two years. Uh, I knew that because I saw you speak at the Juneteenth conference a couple of weeks ago in Chicago, and you were talking about monitoring. And I, I um, I have a confession to make. I'm, I've been a software developer for decades now, mm-hmm. and I've written oh I don't know how many hundreds of applications, maybe thousands. And I kind of I, I'm guilty sometimes of thinking of monitoring as an afterthought. Mm-hmm. Like I build the application, and I think hmm, we need to be able to troubleshoot this. Or maybe it's after a problem occurs, and I think, man, I wish we had some good logging in here and get some good monitoring. Uh, Am I alone? Is that are other people Um, like? I I think so. Maybe I was like when I first started in technology, because just to give some background, I went to a software engineering boot camp, and I also learned how to like build applications, um, and they never mentioned anything about monitoring, so I didn't even know that was a thing either. And I think. um, a lot of people that are newly in technology don't really know that um, or how important monitoring is. Um, I remember discovering what logs were for the first time. Um, but yeah, a lot of people aren't really um, aware how important monitoring is and how much it goes into software development and maintaining an application. But let's talk about that. I mean, you obviously the Think so much about that you actually work for a monitoring company or a logging company, uh, but uh, what? Why? Why is it important for us to capture this observability of an application? Yeah, so I guess depending on like the organization that you have and like what your application does, um, it's important to find when they're when you're having issues. If something breaks, you want to be able to find what broke, what time it broke where it broke, what caused it to break, um, and any other like sources that contribute to it like breaking. Um, like for an example, like let's say somebody made a change in a code base. You want to know who made that change, what change is it that they did make, mm-hmm. um, and hopefully you'll be able to roll it back, right? So I think that's really important for um, monitoring, but also like you get the ability to like project things depending on what it is that you're um, monitoring. You can project your business, you can maybe make changes to your business um, and you get all that from monitoring data. Okay, so the first example you gave is uh, reactive. Something breaks and you wanna figure out why it broke, what changes occurred, uh, what change caused it to break. And the second one is more proactive, right? You wanna look at it even if there's nothing visibly wrong to, yeah. to make it better, right? Yeah. All right. And they mentioned, uh, I mentioned monitoring and you mentioned logging. They're, are they the same thing? And if not, what's the difference? Um, so logging, I think, is just one part of monitoring. Okay. It's one area that helps you with monitoring, but there are so many other things that go into monitoring. Um, logs is, I guess, just one sample of data that you can collect. Metrics is another one, and metrics can be um, pretty much anything you want it to be. Um, but metrics. What, what's different than logging and metrics? So, logs are going to be, I guess you can say, a payload of information. And in that payload is probably a timestamp, um, an environment, maybe a service, as an example. like. It really depends. Like you can have several different things in that payload that'll show you information about the event that happened. Um, so that's a log. Um, preferably, you'd want a log to be in the format of an object, so a JSON, so with key value pairs within the um, log, because that allows you to like read it easier. Okay. Um, most logs come in like a raw format. 
like when they're happening. Okay. But when it comes to your monitoring service, you want to make sure that it comes in an object format. Uh, why is that? Um, again, for re readability. Also, okay. you're able to parse out data that you need a lot easier that way. OK. Um, so we want to, when we're, we're logging, we want to log important information. The, the, and we want it to be in a, a, in a format that's easy to read and easier for the computer to read and pull out the yeah. relevant information. All right. Um, what should we be logging? I mean, is it? Uh, I I've been looking at some of the logging systems, like for example, the ones that are built into Azure. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, there was so much stuff that I could log. Should I just log everything? Yeah. Or what? Um. Again, I think it's subjective because not everybody needs everything. Um. Because it is expensive to log everything, right? So you want to make sure that you're only Logging the things that are important to you. I know like in Azure, they have um, activity logs. And I think that's like when someone logs in or if someone's making changes, they also have platform logs. So I think it's, it very, it's very, very subjective on um, the business that you're running. Because um, again, not everything is important to everyone. So how do I know it's important to me? Um, I guess you want to know how it affects your business, right? So <laughs> that's how you would determine that it, it's important to you. So, okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, think about your business, and then maybe I don't know if uh, after a while you may realize that there's some things that I'm logging or that I'm not logging that I need, and they may yeah. that may evolve over time. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then uh, what about metrics? Are the, what, what kind of metrics are there that I I can think about recording? Yeah. Actually, before you start, would you define what a metric is? Yeah, so I guess you would say it's just um, a data point that comes with values or tags associated with like identifies what it is that you're evaluating. So for instance, um, let's say I want to calculate or monitor how many times I'm turning on the light in my house. I can yeah write some sort of code and make that a metric okay. and record every single time I turn on my light and that'll be like one data point and that makes it a metric. So let's say okay. the metric is called turn on lights. Every time I turn it on, it'll be um, recorded as one. Then the next time I turn on another one and that makes it a metric. So anything you can think of can literally be converted into a metric for you to monitor. Okay. All right, page yeah. views, for example, would be a good one in yeah uh, uh, in a web application. All right, yeah. so what kind? All right, back to my original question. What, what was the uh, what kind of uh, metrics are there? Um, system metrics. Um, you want to see log metrics. That's one. Um, application metrics. What's another one that I can think of? Um, tracing. There's tracing metrics. Uh, it's the only ones I can think of off the top of my head, yeah, but like, yeah, that's, that's pretty start. Is, yeah, make anything a metric. It's the greatest thing. Yeah, what's a tracing metric? Um, so it's related to your application. So it basically is a metric that, um, I guess, whatever you're tracing in your application, you can make it a metric. Now, we've if we collect all this data, um, we want to make it actionable in some way. It's not enough just to collect it. What's what's one way that we can maybe use that data? Yeah. Um, so let's say, for instance, I use my example of like turning on the light as a metric mm -hmm. or page views, you said. So we can set up a monitor, which is basically like an alerting system, right, to um, alert us when we reach a certain threshold. So for instance, if you want to be alerted on when you get 100 page views, you can get an alert sent to whether it's, um, well, at Datadog, you can get it sent to Slack, uh, pager duty. Um, okay. Maybe e email, that. maybe phone call. Yeah, yeah. whatever it, you know, alerting or messaging system you use, you mm -hmm. can get an alert and respond, whether it's immediately or just be aware of like, oh, okay, this is happening. Um, but basically, something that lets you know something is happening. 
Okay, that sounds really good. If uh, if it's something really tragic that's happening, you know, really important, the system went down exactly. in the middle of the night, and I better I'm going to text the on call guy and email the backup guy and uh, or or gal and uh, and uh, let them know that hey, get on this. This is important. You need to exactly get out of your pajamas and get down to the office and fix it. <laughs> exactly. Um. Okay, and then, but not everything is urgent. Maybe sometimes I just want to be able to every once in a while just look and see how things are doing. How do I handle that? Yeah, um, I think you just have the ability to be like, okay, I just want to be aware of this. You don't necessarily have to send a notification. Okay. It just gets logged, for instance. Um, and you can maybe get monitor like how many logs you're getting on this particular um, thing that's happening. So yeah, you can do that. You don't have to like be notified immediately. You can be made aware though. Can I can I just have a report that I print out or view online? Uh, yeah, like again, you could do it with logs. You can be like tracking specific logs around whatever the issue is um, and then generate a report from that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I've heard of something called dashboards. What's a dashboard? So it's like a, we like to say a single pane view of several different things. You can see um, how many events are happening for whatever source you're monitoring. You can see um, if any specific like application you're monitoring is up or down. Um, but it's just like a single pane view of just important information that you just kind of want to be aware of at a quick okay. glance. But it okay. does not alert you, though. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Is this, uh, These yeah. are things that maybe either assure yourself that things are fine or maybe see if things are trending towards yeah. Uh, when you start, it ought to start being <laughs> right. Maybe once a once a day you look at it, or you know, some yeah. some organizations have that monitor. You know, that big widescreen TV on the wall yes. that has like a bunch of graphs on them, and, <laughs> yeah. and we have an updated and glance at it every once in a while. Yeah, we have one in the office. I'm not sure what it's monitoring, but oh, yeah, well, who goes to the office that. anymore? <laughs> I did for the free free lunch. What you got free lunch? We do. <laughs> In Atlanta, right? <laughs> all right, I'm going to go. There. All the day to offices. So. Is yeah. that right? Uh -huh. Is yeah. there one in Chicago? Unfortunately, no. Oh, that does not mean no good at all because it's <laughs> it's lunchtime right now in the central time zone. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, this is a uh, this is a lot of information, but is there anything that we we have? Really yeah. Important for um, broad overview of logging and monitoring and uh, metrics and so on. Yeah, um, I think a cool one that's even though it's not really new is like serverless. I think that's really popular now. Um, a lot of companies are going serverless, even though they're still servers. It's just um, it just allows you to scale up a whole lot faster. Than okay, and, and how, how does that relate to monitoring? Um, you can monitor your serverless application. So, like okay. in AWS, you have lambdas. Yep. Um, you can monitor. We, have, we call them functions in Azure. I have to get yeah. them to log in. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can also monitor your Azure functions too. Um, yeah. But like, for instance, if you have a function that's taking a little bit long to start, okay. you can get alerted on that. So. Oh yeah. Well, Dolly, this has been really educational. I think this is a really good uh, uh, overview of logging and alerting and metrics and monitoring in general for software applications. So um, this is a good starting point. People can go out there and, and Google or Bing the yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, for some more information and increase your knowledge because this is a big topic. But yeah, it, it is. It is really big. Datadog yeah. does have a learning center. So oh, tell me where that is. Um, I think if you just Google Datadog Learning Center, I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. Data dog is Datadog one word. Yeah. Learning center, and it takes me to data dog HQ or learn.datadoghq.com. Yeah. And on there it says there are courses. There are actually full courses on here. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just remember. <laughs> I'll put it, I'll put a link to this in the show notes. Yeah. Dolly, thank you so much. You have You're a great welcome. day. 
Thank you. You too. Through technology, I have made so many friends and I hope you guys do too.